On April 5th, 2006, South Park released part one of a two-part episode entitled Cartoon Wars. The episodes are directly aimed at two problems on the creators' minds, the representation of the Muslim religion and culture and animation, and their problem with the absolute smash hit show, Family Guy. Join me as we look back on this time in adult animation culture and reminisce over the time South Park totally destroyed Family Guy. First, you need to be acquainted with the story of the episodes before we dive into what happened behind the scenes, so sit back and relax for a bit. Cartoon Wars Part 1 starts with Stan laying in bed while his mother Sharon reads him a book. After she leaves the room, his dad Randy bursts in panicking, gathering the family to take over in the community center. Again. Once inside, Stan's dad explains to the children that a cartoon is about to air on television with the Muslim prophet Muhammad as a character. The kids are understandably confused. Referring to the incident in Denmark, Randy states that no cartoon is allowed to show images of Muhammad anymore. People start to ask what cartoon is wild enough to show images like that, and that's when we find out it's Family Guy. Continuing his rant, Randy claims they're only doing it because of their toilet humor and need for money. Eventually, a TV showing the news comes on, and we see an anchor telling us about the Family Guy episode and how it's causing riots. They stay in the community center overnight, and we find out Fox censored the image of Muhammad at the last minute. Kyle tells the kids he recorded the episode of Family Guy, and the four rush over to watch it. Here's when we see our first roast of Family Guy. In its own animation style, South Park shows scenes of a fictional Family Guy episode, where they make fun of how every joke is basically a 10 second Peter flashback that never pertains to the actual plot. The final one of these is the Muhammad reference, where Peter and a censored Muhammad go and get iced tea from Mr. T's tea stand. Cartman is the only one of the four who seems to take this seriously and storms out. Then Kyle's parents come in, see they're watching Family Guy, and destroy the TV. At school, Mrs. Garrison puts the kids through Muslim sensitivity training. She tries to explain to the class that the religion has rules of no premarital sex or masturbation, and they typically live in hot, sandy environments. So when a culture that has excess of those things comes around and mocks their religion, it's understandable why they'd be pissed. Cartman, furious at this, calls Mrs. Garrison ignorant and racist and explains Muslims aren't mad because they can't have sex, they're mad at Family Guy specifically. The kids are then called to an emergency assembly where they watch another news broadcast talking about how the Family Guy episode from last night was only the first of a two-parter and that the second part will reveal images of Muhammad. It goes on to show more riot footage and another roast at Family Guy. After the assembly, Cartman tells his friends that they need to go to the Fox Studios in LA to get the episode pulled before it airs. They call him out for making fun of religions himself, where he points out that it's all jokes until people really die. Later that night, we see Kyle asleep when his family bursts into the room telling them they have to go because the terrorists have started attacking. Ike ends up getting lost when everyone is fleeing. As Kyle goes to rescue him, he explodes from a bomb dropping. Kyle wakes up and realizes it was all a dream, and realizes he needs to actually help Cartman. The two have a little emotional scene together before heading off for LA. It then cuts to a press conference where a new plan is being hatched. Professor Thomas tells them that they need to show the Muslim people that they are also not in support of Family Guy and that they're wrong to group them together. The plan is to bury their heads in sand when the episode airs to prove they weren't watching TV. That's when someone starts talking about how this is affecting free speech and how more people should make cartoons with the Prophet Muhammad so that we can prove everyone is equal. And then Randy goes, I like the sand idea. and they get to work. We go back to Cartman and Kyle, where we find out Cartman wants to do more than just pull the episode. He wants Family Guy off the air. Kyle is surprised about this and wants to know more. This is when the first true burn comes. Kyle says Cartman should like Family Guy based on his sense of humor, and Cartman goes off, saying to never compare them again or he'll kill him where he stands. And well, just watch the clip. The two eventually get into a race where Cartman forces Kyle off the road, which makes him jump off and lose his bike as Cartman rides off into the distance. While that's going on, back in South Park, we see everyone starting to bury their heads in the sand, prompting them to realize that one person won't have their head buried, and that's when some Wild West guy named Dylan offers himself up. The episode comes to a close with President Bush speaking to the president of Fox, explaining how the episode needs to be pulled for the safety of America, but the Fox president has a secret to disclose, and that's when the episode ends and previews part 2, even managing to make fun of the Family Guy credits in the process.
The second episode starts with recapping the first, only for it to be told that it won't be airing, and instead, Terrence and Philip and Mr. Lazy J Ranch will be playing instead. The Terrence and Philip episode starts with them riding horses on the Lazy J Ranch when they run into the Prophet Muhammad also on horseback, albeit censored. It then cuts to the Canadian Broadcasting Company, where Terrence and Philip storm in angry that the image of Muhammad was censored, claiming that Family Guy is going to do the same thing tonight. To which the executive responds, I doubt it. I'll bet that right now somebody is on their way to Fox Network to demand that that episode be pulled. We then start the actual South Park episode, where we see Cartman entering the Fox Studios. He walks up to the receptionist and demands to speak with the president of the network, only to be told that he has to wait in line behind another little boy who also wants Family Guy to be pulled, who also happens to resemble another famous adult cartoon character I'm sure you realized, but this one is an honor, not parody. We cut to Kyle walking up to a truck stop along the highway where everyone has buried their heads in sand. He finds a TV airing the news inside, and that's when he finds out about the sand idea for the first time. Someone then walks up on him with a gun and asks him who he is. We cut back to Cartman and the Bart Simpson looking fella, where they're discussing their plans to get Family Guy pulled. Cartman then starts convincing him to go along with his plan with some light threatening of his own. It then cuts to a press conference being held by the president where he explains to the people that there's nothing they can do due to the first amendment, which makes the people upset, but that's about it. It goes back to Cartman giving a BS story to the president of Fox about how his family was suicide bombed. It actually works, but the Fox president says that there's still nothing he can do, but Cartman can talk to the writers themselves if he'd like, to which he says yes. We then see Kyle getting dropped off at the Fox studio by the man who pointed the gun at him earlier. He runs into Bart, who misleads him on purpose so Cartman can continue his mission. Cartman walks into the writer's room, where he learns it's just a bunch of manatees. The person escorting Cartman goes on to explain that the manatees share a tank with millions of idea balls, each one containing a noun, verb, pop culture reference, etc., to which the manatees choose at random and the episodes become the jokes for Family Guy episodes. The reason they're upset about the Muhammad episode is because when one ball gets moved from their tank, it makes them very upset and they stop working for some reason. Cartman tries to talk to them, but he gets stopped short when he's informed that manatees are the only mammals immune to terrorist threats. We then cut to Kyle tied up hanging in rope, where Cartman is preaching to him. He tells him he's waiting for everyone to go on lunch break so he can go back in and steal balls from the manatee tank, which makes no sense to Kyle. We see the president of Fox upset that the manatees aren't working anymore. Cartman tells him it's because he gave in to them last week and now they aren't working because they're too spoiled and the president of Fox needs to stand up for himself. And it works, with the president rushing to pull the episode. Cartman walks out of the studios all cheery and that's when he runs into Kyle. He tells him he talked with the Bart kid and he freed him and Kyle still has time to tell the Fox president that Cartman is full of crap. That's when they get into a furious battle through the King of the Hills writer's room. Bart eventually comes to the rescue and hits Cartman. We then see the Fox president about to pull the episode when Kyle runs into the room and tells him he needs to stop. Then Cartman runs into the room and they both start arguing their case to the Fox president. Cartman somehow pulls out a gun during this, but by the end of it all, Kyle wins the argument and they air the episode with the image of Muhammad. We see what it was supposed to be, but the same thing that they were making fun of in the episode really happened to them as Comedy Central did not air the Muhammad themselves and instead opted for this. Pretty ironic, huh? President Bush is seen watching the episode, which he thinks wasn't that bad. That's when he gets the call about the retaliation. We eventually see that the retaliation everyone was so scared of was just the Muslims creating their own cartoon making fun of Americans and Jesus. And with that, the cartoon wars were finished. After the airing of Cartoon Wars Part 1, South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone said they got absolute praise from both the Simpsons writing crew who sent flowers, along with the King of the Hill writing staff who said they were doing God's work, which is why both shows make some sort of appearance during the second episode. In fact, during the DVD commentary track for the episode, Trey Parker said the Simpsons staff actually hates Family Guy more than they do, although they'll never say it because they share a network. He actually goes on to give some mid-2000s lore here, by explaining that Family Guy was like the Justin Timberlake of adult animation. Some guy who comes along out of what feels like nowhere, doing an art form that he's not fully versed in or grew up with, and everyone loves it and he becomes rich and famous, while the people who are actually passionate about this art are sidelined. And, willing to admit a little envy too, Parker said he does realize part of it was also just trying to make South Park seem a tad cooler at the time that Family Guy was getting around four times the ratings as them. While we know now The Simpsons would eventually do a crossover mega episode with Family Guy, 
Trey Parker clarified later to this day that he actively still hates Family Guy. And as for Family Guy, they never once shot back. Seth MacFarlane said Trey Parker and Matt Stone can go to hell though. Looking back, we get to see a little glimpse into the mid-2000s and see what was going on behind the scenes in some of our favorite TV shows. While stuff like this is fun and can get audiences going, it's inevitable that it was just a little passionate moment that passed as both shows continued to grow into the mega giants they are now. We also can't forget the other point of the entire two-part cartoon wars, a point that Trey Parker and Matt Stone chose for a reason, not being able to show an image of Muhammad. Parker has said while well, yes, the Family Guy stuff was a big part of it all, he feels a lot of people miss the point that these huge companies are making the decision on what's right and wrong to make fun of, when it should be as simple as either everything is okay or nothing is okay. And with all that, I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, please like and subscribe because it really means a lot. Comment your thoughts on this whole situation, especially if you were around when it originally aired. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.